What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode Cuban Link accusing Fat Joe of snitching and provides the paperwork. I'm about to tell y'all something. First, I'm going to read the paperwork, which is right here. Here go the paperwork right here. This the pay for, this this the paperwork and this is what it said. It says Trinity Ave, Mr. Cartagena, who is Fat Joe, stated that he also sold crack on Union Ave. And that's how he got the nickname Joey Crack. Mr. Cartagena stated that Marquio Stroud killed a guy named Truth on King's Bridge Road. For a crew called 25 to Life. Mr. Cartagena stated that one day Marquio, Fat Chino, and Shorty, who were all members of Brian Boys, came to Forest Projects looking for a shooter. Mr. Cartagena said that they wanted to kill a guy named Rays, who was the leader of the Nasty Boys from Hunts Point. Now they got like little like stuff in like in the paragraph where everything is like stated. So I'm gonna do my best to read it. Mr. Cartagena stated that he didn't know Ray's personally. He knew of him during the '80s when he was a graffiti writer and leader of the. I can't read this paperwork. The Osavos fought with the squad. I guess that's a terror squad from a crew. A crew from Forest Projects. And then he said, Mr. Cartagena stated that it was Ray's who killed Chupo. Mr. Cartagena stated that Pistol Pete, I know Pistol Pete, and Charlie Rock knew Ray's from prison and that he was a rat hunter. A rat hunter is a by somebody that goes around killing snitches. And that Afro, another rat hunter, Gave Hayes a spot in Hunt's Points where he came when he came home. Mr. Cartagena both stated that both Rays and Afro were taking contract hits. Mr. Cartagena stated that Fat Chino wanted a shooter that Rays knew. That Rays didn't know. Mr. Cartagena stated that Julio paid a guy, Chucky, to kill Rays. Rays was shot inside a building in Hunts Point. Here's my take on all of this. Here's my take on all of this. We don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if this real official paperwork or if it's fake fabricated paperwork because y'all got to remember the day and the age that we are living in, you can make some fake documents. And make it look real. You can do it. It's possible. So the only way we're going to know if this is real or not. Is that. If a guy is locked up for killing this guy. He got to come out and say yeah. Fat Joe snitched on me. Or he got to come out and say yeah. Fat Joe didn't snitch on me. That's fake paperwork. That's the only way we would know this is fake or not. Anybody could make up anything on anybody with paperwork. Is the officer's name on it? Is the officer's uh, badge number on it? Can we contact this precinct to confirm all this? We, you, you, nowadays, you got to do investigation and paperwork on paperwork. To make sure the paperwork is official paperwork. Straight up. Now, here's the thing. Now, I'm talking to Fat Joe. Fat Joe, this is where you fucked up at. Because I don't know if this paperwork is true or not. It could be fake. It could be real. I don't know. But Fat Joe, this is where you fucked up at. I'm talking to Fat Joe now. Fat Joe, you fucked up when you got Cuban League uh, cheek slice. When you cut that man cheek. And after that, you just let that nigga go away. You just let that nigga live and do his own thing. A lot of you niggas, I know y'all read the 48 Laws of Power. 
The 48 Laws of Power said, crush your enemy totally. Crush him totally. You didn't crush Cuban leagues totally, Fat Joe. Fat Joe, this man is walking around with a scar on your face. Every day this man thinks about you, Fat Joe. Fat Joe, you gave Cuban links PTSD. Cuban Lynx suffers from PTSD because of you, nigga. Every day Cuban Lynx is plotting on a way he can destroy you. He's plotting on a way he can kill you. He's plotting on a way he can uh, he, he can end whatever you going through or, or, or end whatever you doing. He's plotting on you. He's been plotting on you for decades. How can you be surprised that he came up with this? How can you be surprised there's Cuban links behind all of this? Cuban links know he can't come at you toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Cuban links know he can't pull up on you and get the fair one. Cuban links know he can't kill you directly. He know he can't do that. So what does he do? He's thinking of ways every day how he could destroy you. Here it is, Cuban links. Don't have the money that you got, Fat Joe. Cuban Links don't got the money you got. He ain't living the life that you living. And here it is. The man that just sliced his cheek and got to wear his scar for the rest of his life. He's watching you at parties celebrating your birthday. He's watching you on, on, on the internet. He's watching you on Drink Champs. He's just watching you just be successful. Can you understand that envy? Can you understand that jealousy? Can you understand the hate that's building up? Let me tell you something, Fat Joe. When Cuban Link released this paperwork and then it got aired on Star from Star and Buck Wow's YouTube channel and Cuban Link posted Star's Reaction, that was the best day of his life. You might as well say the day that Cuban Links released this paperwork was one of the best days of his life. Because now he gets to watch you explain this to other people. He gets to watch you react. Because here's the thing, Fat Joe. You never reacted to Cuban Link. You always been ignoring Cuban Link. Like, 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 I, I haven't not once heard you recently in the past years say anything about Cuban Links. He's nothing to you. You just forgot about him, but he ain't forget about you. Cuban Links ain't forget about you, Fat Joe. He thinks about you every day. You gotta stand, son. Fat Joe, Cuban Lynx has a big scar on his cheek. You know how often people ask him, hey, what happened to you? You got a scar, what happened? And you know, a lot of people, they don't, they feel uncomfortable talking about their scars. Some do, some, some okay. But a lot of people, they feel uncomfortable talking about the scar. But here it is. Every time he talk about that scar that's on his cheek, he got to relive that every day, every day, every day. He got to relive that moment. And now he's thinking to himself, what type of consequences did those people suffer for giving him that scar? Well, see, Fat Joe, this what happens when you under, underestimate one of your enemies. This what happens when you, just, when, when you just put a scar on somebody and you don't finish them off. Let me tell you something, Fat Joe. This dude, Cuban Lynx, he's going for the jugular. He's going for the kill. He's doing something that you didn't do, which is go for the kill. He not playing with you. He ain't got nothing to lose. Let's say if this, let's say if this paperwork is fake, so what? He ain't got nothing to lose. For a whole month and some change, he seek and say, everybody was calling Fat Joe a snitch. 
Do you know how disrespectful it is for a street guy, a respectable street guy who has respect in the hood is now being called a snitch? People now insinuating that he told on somebody. That's what Fat Joe is going through right now. All you cats out there slicing people's face, shooting people, and not finishing them off, this was going to happen to y'all niggas. All you cats in the street going around cutting people, shooting people, you not finishing them off, they plotting on you. Cuban Lee's been plotting on Fat Joe for decades, I guarantee you that. Let me show you something. Look at, I want y'all to look at Cuban Link's post. Look at Cuban Link's post, right? Cuban Link posted the reaction of Star from Star and Buck Wild. Where is that? Here we go. On some type of expert, somebody from New York. I've got some paperwork. I don't know if it's official or not. Is Fat Joe a snitch? Fat Joe can get that smoke on this mic. Don't get it fucked up. He and I have been cool over the years. My good friend, my honorary, uh, I'm sorry, my good friend who is an honorary terror squad member, Miguel Candelaria. The only reason I'm not going to give Joe that smoke right now and post this paperwork is because I'm not sure if it's official or not. Troll baby, somebody help me out before I put this up in the community section because, you know, I don't give a fuck. See that, Fat Joe? You see what I'm talking about? And you and Star, you and Star was cool. You and Star's cool. You see, see, here's the thing. Cuban Link, whether this is true or not, his strategy is already working. His strategy is already working. He's turning people against you, Fat Joe. He's turning people against you. We don't know if it's true or not. This could, be, this could be fake as hell. We don't know if it's true or not. Let's see what his caption wrote. Wait, wait. Let's see what his caption said. He said, Exhibit A, paperwork is in. Fat Joe exposed on snitch charges. Big shout out to Star for reporting the truth and keeping it 100% across the board. Now you might understand why I couldn't get along with this animal. But I guess let's wait for the authenticity of this here paperwork. But like I said, I'm going to sit back and watch the pale, pale, believe, pale, what, what, what is it? Pell Bulagu whale get brought into shore by the rest of the fishermen. See what I mean? See what I mean? And you underestimated this nigga, Fat Joe. So in closing, more of the story, y'all. Crush your enemies totally. Don't be going out here scarring niggas. You know they're going to come back. If they don't come back physically, they're going to come back another way. You got to understand, when you scar a man, he don't forget that. He don't forget you. Every day you can rest assured if he's a respectable man, he's plotting on you. He's waiting for your downfall. Matter of fact, your downfall will be the happiest thing in his life. Because y'all keep forgetting, just like Tupac said. Revenge is the sweetest joy next to getting pussy. And that was today's episode of Like, uh, Comment, Subscribe. <laughs> and I'm going to catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.